All right, so what you're looking at here is uh, Mega Squirt 2. First attempt at actually getting it running. And uh, you'll notice it's pretty ghettoed up, uh, wired. But that's what it called for in this case. Uh, had a lot of problems with it in the beginning, but finally got it running. So I got the CAS here. Uh, this one's modified. You can see it's got a missing tooth on each um, side of the, the crank angle sensor, that G signal there. And surprisingly enough, it actually does run with the carburetor on there. So I knew for sure that it was going to run with that carburetor and the original distributor. So I went ahead and tried to get it to run with the crank angle sensor and the mega squirt. And sure enough, it finally worked. So it took a lot of trial and error adjusting uh, these pots here, one there and the one there, but uh, finally got running. So let's check it out. Well, it helps if you turn it on. All right. Alright, so there you have it. And as you can see, the whole Mega Squirt is completely uh, separated from the battery power. It's got its own little uh, wall wart there and a battery pack. So all that is running the ignition there, completely separate from the battery and alternator. So crazy, crazy setup, but it does run and it's uh, getting me further further down the road with this mega squirt and hopefully we can have it fully fuel injected soon start mapping this thing out all right